Those are not water. Those are Hello my friends, Brian here. This is the first video of a series of monster documentary video where I will do deep dive into various monster backstory. Let's kickstart the series with the monster that will be making a comeback in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the Shogun Senator. Shogun Senator is a Carapacian that usually delves in volcanic and marshland areas. It is the fully grown form of the smaller crab-like monster, Senator. The other popular Carapacian, Daimyo Hamitor, is a close relative to the Shogun Senator. Let me know down in the comment below if you are interested to know more about the Daimyo Hamitor. I will make a video about it in the future. In the Japanese language, it is named Shogun Izami. Shogun, which means general in Japanese, and Gizami is probably a wordplay of the Japanese word for scissors, which is Hazami. The Shogun Senator is also given the title of Sekpo Crab due to the long claws that it can extend up to twice its own body length. It has a grand total of three attacks using its claw, which is a chop, a slash, and a spawning slash. But don't get fooled by the seemingly mundane attack patterns. The Shogun Senator is a master swordsman in the monster world. Each of his claw strikes is fast and precise, giving you very less time to dodge to safety. On top of that, given the mobility of the monster, it can chase you down and delivers multiple deadly strikes in a flash, prematurely ending your quest for you. Maybe it was due to the rather small size of the Shogun Senator's claw, its attack doesn't really cause a lot of knockback to the hunter. Often time, you will get stun locked on the spot when the monster keeps slashing you again and again. Your HP will be gone in a matter of seconds. Furthermore, as if the speed and long reach of its claw are not deadly enough, it can also easily cause bleeding effects. All Carapacian have a unique love for monster skulls. Also, depending on the species, they each have a unique preference over what kind of monster skulls to use as its protection. A unique characteristic of the Shogun Centaur is the gravious skull on its back. It carries it around as a sign of friendship. Actually, there are no clear answer to why Shogun Centaur lacks the gravious skull. But from observation, it might be simply due to the fact that it has an opening for it to do the water jet attack. If you look closely, you can see that the gravious skull on its back is rather huge compared to the normal gravious that we usually encounter. This suggests that gravious can actually grow to a much larger size if the situation allows. Although it is very hard, it is possible to break the shogun shell, revealing its weak abdomen. It will quickly flee from the battleground and put on a new shell in order to protect the weakest part of its body. Looking at the thin and tiny legs, you will not imagine the enormous power this leg process. The small tiny legs is capable of moving at extreme speed even when carrying such a huge monster skull on its back. However, it can only achieve top speed while carrying the smaller shell on its back due to the much lesser weight. Due to the explosive power of its leg, the Shogun Senator is also capable of performing powerful jump. It can leap forward at great distance to catch up with its prey and delivers a deadly slash. It can also jump vertically up to three times of its own height and cling onto the ceiling of caves. While up on the top, it can casually walk across the ceiling thanks to the toughness of its leg that can easily break through the rocky layers. Do take note, you will not want to stand under the monster when it is up there unless you like to be blasted with some crap urine. By now, you should notice one thing. The water jet attacks is actually shooting out from the shogun back instead of its mouth. The reason is pretty simple. Those are not water. Those are crab pee. It utilizes a special organ to expel water stored inside the body at extreme pressure and use it as a weapon to repel hunters. Apart from the Kongolala, Shogun Senator should be the second nastiest monster out there. If you observe the small senator in the wild, you will notice that they can actually speed poison to attack their prey. This ability seems to degenerate as the senator grew up and relies more on its sharp claws to attack. However, on some very rare occasion, a fully grown Shogun Senator will still process the ability to expel poison from its body. 
After surviving countless battles with hunters from the guild, the Shogun Senator developed even longer and sharper claws in order to render the hunter's armor useless. The Rust Razor Senator is a special Shogun Senator that was given the title of Armor Breaker due to its enormous anti-hunter sharp claws. This particular Senator has also mastered the use of its shell. It has now become a part of its body. It can quickly change between Gravius or Glavenous Skull and switch between range or melee combat. While wearing the Gravius Skull, it will use various water jet attack to keep you away from it. When it changed to the Glavenous Skull, it will gain the ability to sharpen its rusty claw with Glavenous Teeth and start cutting the hunter into pieces at blinding speed. According to reports from various hunters, the Shogun Senator meat actually tastes very bad. Unlike his cousin, the Daimyo Hermitor, which is a well-known delicacy among hunters. From an interview featured in Nintendo Dream, it was mentioned that Shogun Senator design was actually inspired with the bug-like alien monster in the Starship Trooper movie. There is actually a real-world animal with the name Shogun also. The Shogun AB is a popular aquatic pet. However, it is not a hermit crab, it is actually a lobster. The Wyvern skull that it wears on its back is actually the skull of Rathalos or Rathian. Due to prolonged weathering, it has lost all visible resemblance to the flying Wyvern. You can watch this video here for other interesting monsters. I'm Brian from Malaysia, over and out.